Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're coming across a problem with your NVIDIA display settings or not available error. So this could definitely be an annoying issue. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve it without too much of a hassle here. And we're going to go ahead and jump right into it and start by opening up the start menu. Just left click on the start button one time. Type in device manager. Best match should go back with device manager right above control panel. Go ahead and left click on that option. Now you want to expand the display adapter section, so either double click on it or left click on the little arrow next to it to expand the drop down. Now there should be something here that says NVIDIA and then GeForce or whatever your display adapter is. You want to go ahead and right click on it, select disable device, select yes. And now you've disabled it, now you want to go ahead and right click on it again and then enable device. And hopefully that will have been able to resolve your problem. If you are still experiencing a problem, now you want to go ahead and open up your web browser. And I'm going to have a link to the GeForce download for NVIDIA, so I will have that in the description of the video. You guys are welcome to search for it as well. But I thought I'd just throw it in as a courtesy to you, the viewer, just so it's a little less time consuming. You don't have to go to Google or anything. So I'll just have it in the description of the video. I'm just going to wait for this page to load here momentarily. And I'm going to select the download option should be the most recent release date right up at the top so it shouldn't be too hard to locate It's about 100 megabytes, so it will take a minute or two to download, so just be patient.
If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And then you just want to follow along with the on-screen prompts here to install it. And that's pretty much it, guys. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.